Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today I'm going to show you how to fully remove uh, applications, also known as programs, from your Windows computer. Um, fully move remains uh, going into the file structure, the registry, and all that fun stuff to fully remove that program. Um, what a lot of people don't know is when you uninstall a program from Windows and use just the regular Windows uninstaller, it leaves some traces in your registry, your file system, and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you how to fully remove that today. Now, the first thing that you will do is when you're uninstalling a program or fully removing it, uh, going to open up the Add and Remove Programs. So if you just click on your Start button there and start typing Add or Remove, you'll see it pop up here. Go ahead and open that up. And this will give you an entire list of things in your system that you can remove. Now, I will tell you a lot of people to fully remove an application. You can also use a piece of software. There's a few of them, but there's a piece of software I use uh, called the Revo Uninstaller. That will do everything that I'm going to show you how to do manually today. A video should be popping up for that now. I have made a video on that. Um, so if you prefer to do it that way, um, go ahead. It works great. But if you'd like to just remove it manually and not do this by using another piece of software, um, then this is the video for you. So once you open up the installed apps in your system, you're going to scroll down to the one that you want to uninstall. And this is on my laptop and I never use Zoom. So I'm just going to demonstrate and use Zoom today. So once you find it, you're going to click on the three little buttons here and you're going to uninstall and it will tell you this app will be uninstalled. Fine. You're going to click uninstall. Now this is the point where it uses the built-in Windows uninstaller to quote, get rid of and uninstall Zoom. But you see it disappear from the list here. Most people would think, great, Zoom is uninstalled. And well, technically it is, like I said, it will still leave traces in your system. So we want to get away from that. So the next step is you're going to go into the registry. And so to get there, um, you just click start here and just start typing reg edit. And that is the shortcut word for registry editor. You can also do the Windows key plus R on your uh, keyboard there. And when the run box comes up, you can just type reg edit there as well. So let's go ahead and run registry editor. And it's going to look like this. Now, disclaimer time. This would be a good time for you to back up your registry because if anything goes wrong, if you mess something up in here, it could cause you some major issues. So make sure you back up your registry. Um, I do have a video on that as well. And I'll either pop that up here or put it down in the description for you. Okay, so once you have this open here, um, you're going to click on the H key local machine here. And then you're going to do software. Just open those up. Then you're going to scroll all the way down here to Zoom. And as you see, there's two entries here. So I'm not going to use Zoom on this laptop, so I don't need it. So you're just going to right click and you're going to hit delete. And you're going to confirm, yes, I want to delete it. And then let's just get rid of the Zoom UMX as well, which is part of it. Um, I'm not going to use it, so I don't need it. And hit delete on that as well and confirm it. So now anything that has to do with Zoom is no longer in your registry. And that's a good thing. So that's pretty easy. So the next part is we're going to open up your file explorer. And you can generally find that right here. Um, so just click on that or you can click the start button and just type explorer it brings you to the file explorer now here's what we have to do uh, there's two things that we're going to do in the file explorer here the first one is neither one of them are hard but the first one's easy so you're just going to click on your operating system drive here and you're going to find these two uh, folders here program files and program files x86 so let's look under program files we'll zoom down we see that zoom is not under there so it must be under program files x86 and so let's go in there scroll all the way down 
Um, and Windows Uninstaller actually did a good job of making sure it wasn't in here. So that's a plus, but always check here. So yep, it's gone. So still using File Explorer, the next step that we do is up here in the address bar. Yes, File Explorer has an address bar, just like a web browser. Um, and so in here, you're going to type percentage app data percentage. Mm, take that R out of there. Okay, so once you open that up, you're going to see that we are in the roaming profile here. That's what it defaults to. Um, probably not going to be in here. Just go down and look for Zoom or the application that you are trying to uninstall. Um, it's not under roaming, so we're going to click back up here on app data. And we're going to go to local. And then we'll scroll down here. And Windows actually did a good job of getting rid of those in the file structure as well. It just did not remove it from the registry. But always check here because Windows will not always grab that and get it out of here. But if it is in here, if the Zoom folder were in here, just go ahead and uh, right click and delete it and you are good to go. So that is actually it, guys. It's super easy. So remember the steps. First, go into Add and Remove Programs, uninstall it, go into your registry, and then open your File Explorer. And in File Explorer, you'll just, you know, like I said, just go to the Program Files or Program Files x86, remove anything that is associated with the program that you uninstalled, and then do the app data and make sure it's out of there. And that is it, guys. That is... Uh, that is a full uninstall of an application or a program. Anyway, guys, if this was helpful, go ahead and click that thumbs up and consider subscribing to me for future content. Thanks, guys.